Hello. Today's short talk is about reducing the effects of climate change and comes from a, a slide I saw on Twitter about how money grows on trees. Now, growing money on trees is going to catch most people's attention. So I started to follow this discussion on Twitter. Uh, it turns out that the city of Manchester is making a push to become carbon neutral or at least to seriously reduce its carbon footprint. The speaker at the uh, conference was talking about the importance of trees in a city landscape, and more importantly, how trees can help to improve the value of property and commerce. So that's what I'll be reviewing today. Firstly, looking at this idea of the economic impact of trees and then look at the environmental and health impact of trees in the urban environment. The first economic point is related to residential properties. Apparently, the value of homes and properties on streets where mature large trees are present in gardens and on the street, uh, they can expect to be valued at between 3 and 15% higher than where trees are not present. Secondly, in commercial areas of cities, so we're talking here particularly about city centres and retail parks, high quality landscapes with trees and other vegetation can result in 7% higher rental rates for commercial properties. In addition to the higher rents for the property owners, the shops themselves can also benefit. Shoppers apparently spend 9 to 12% more for goods and services in central business districts with high quality tree canopies. Also, shoppers will travel for a longer time and further distances to districts with high quality trees and they will spend a longer time there one would assume that that results in higher levels of spending. The, the economic benefits then of planting trees and landscaping areas with vegetari veg uh, vegetation seem to be clear then. Higher property values for both residential and commercial properties, higher footfall and higher spending of those who visit the area. Uh, obviously, the benefits of trees are not just limited to the economics. Uh, we know that when natural landscapes are replaced with roads and buildings, the planners need to think about drainage, uh, removing the rain which falls rather regularly in the UK, particularly in Manchester, mm. removing that rain from the streets and into natural watercourses rivers and streams. If the water moves too quickly into the drains and then into the streams and rivers, there is an increased risk of flooding further downstream. Uh, trees therefore improve surface water management. They act like a sponge to slow down the rate at which water runs into drains, thus reducing the volume of water running into rivers during and after heavy rainfall. Um, so trees are important in that respect. Uh, the final point is that trees can help to regulate the temperature of urban areas and buildings. Urbanization creates a phenomenon known as the urban heat island or UHI. Temperature differences because of this UHI can be as much as 9 degrees in the UK. So city centres may be 9 degrees warmer than rural areas. Uh, two researchers, Doik and Hutching in 2013, claimed that this increased heat results in over 1,000 premature deaths each year in the UK. You see hot weather creates particular problems for elderly people's uh, breathing, um, they, particularly those with breathing difficulties and those with cardiovascular diseases. These researchers explain that the correct selection and placement of trees and other green infrastructure, vegetation, 
can reduce the impacts of UHI and cool the air by between 2 and 8 degrees C, which in turn reduces the number of deaths. So how does this work? Well, there are three ways that trees and other vegetation can help to reduce temperatures. Firstly is something called uh, evaporative cooling and evapotranspiration. Uh, although it's termed evaporative cooling, it's not actually cooling as such. It would be more precise to say warming less. Uh, you see trees and plants and the ground they grow in all contain water. Incoming heat energy from the sun is used to convert water into water vapour. Energy is being used to drive this evaporation process rather than heating the air, uh, which is the heat that we feel. Thus, because the energy is used to convert water into vapour, the air temperature is lower. The second reason is reflectance. A good example of this is from uh, 2014. A building in London, um, known as the Walkie Talkie on Fenchurch Street, was in the news because the sun, reflecting off the building's curved facade, got so hot it melted the wing mirror and the badge on a Jaguar car that was parked in the street. Now if you walk past this building on a sunny day, you can actually feel the increase in temperature, uh, even though it's now covered in a sunshade. Um, because it's got a, a concave surface and it, it brings that, that uh, reflecting sunlight into a, a small area. Um, so lighter buildings and glass reflect heat and thus they, they increase the, the air temperature in the surrounding areas. Trees, because they are dark, do not reflect heat, they absorb it, hence they're good for making the air temperature cooler. Thirdly, and linked to number two, is shading. Well-positioned trees can produce cooling effects in the summer, mainly by shading buildings and the streets from the heat of the sun, hence they can reduce uh, the costs of cooling buildings in hot weather, which is another economic effect. So to conclude then, there are both economic benefits of planting trees in urban areas and environmental reasons too. Uh, it might be interesting to look around your city and think about where trees could be planted for the benefit of everyone. Thank you.